Uh, okay, now uh, let me start my presentation. I'm Tomohiko Hironaka. Um, the title of my talk is Two Applications of Multi Level Monte Carlo Methods to Bayesian Experimental Designs. Uh, this is joint work with Takeru Iwamoto and Wataru Kitade. Uh, they are master course students in our laboratory. Uh, first, we introduce EIZ, which is short for the expected information gain. EIG has been often employed as a quality criterion of experimental designs. Uh, here is the definition of EIG. Uh, theta is random variable, which means unknown parameters. And YC is the random variable, uh, which means the result of the experiment. C is the parameter for experiment. Uh, here, theta, y, theta and y and c are usually multivariate. And EIG is given by uc in this formula. Uh, the first term means the entropy when y is unknown. And the second term means the entropy when y is known. So, UC means the decrease of information and entropy. And this is the measure of the value of the information of Y. Here, UC includes the probability density of theta given Y. But usually this is hard to calculate. So we transform this formula using Bayes theorem. By Bayes theorem, we have this transformation. And the probability density of theta given y is expressed by the probability density of y given theta, which can be calculated. And so we can rewrite EIG in this formula. And here, the second term is called nested expectation because there is inner expectation about theta, uh, inside outer expectation about y. It is known that this kind of expectation is hard to estimate. Um, NMC, nested Monte Carlo, is classical algorithm to estimate the nested expectation. Uh, here is the estimator of EIG using nested Monte Carlo. First, we have to take n samples for outer expectation, and then m samples for inner expectation. So the number of total samples is n times m. And we have to take large number of samples to estimate u with high accuracy. In previous research, it is known that NMC requires a total computation cost of the order epsilon 2 minus 3 with optimized m and n, uh, m is square to n. The aim of our study is to improve this total computational cost using MLMC, multilevel Monte Carlo. Now uh, we introduce the multilevel Monte Carlo. This is the definition of multiple level Monte Carlo. Uh, here, p is a random variable, but the sample cannot be calculated directly. Uh, we can sample pl instead. pl means the approximation of p, and roughly speaking, the l is larger, the pl is good approximation of p, but requires uh, higher computational cost. The first term is the estimation of P0 with the sample size N0. The second term is the summation of the correction term delta P. That is equal to P1 minus P0, P2, P, P2 minus P1, and so on. Uh, 
And this is the basic theorem of MLMC. This is uh, the assumption of the theorem. And alpha, beta, gamma means that the convergence rate of the expectation, variance, and computational cost of delta p. And under these assumptions, uh, the, the order of the total computational cost of multi level Monte Carlo is shown here. If beta is larger than gamma, the computational cost is order epsilon 2 minus 2. And this is the best order of these three cases. As explained in the previous slide, beta e and gamma e are the convergence rate of the variance and the computational cost of delta p. We can apply MLMC for estimation of EIG by defining p and delta p as shown here. PL is the contents of outer expectation and inner expectation is estimated by the Monte Carlo using the sample size 2 to L. Um, delta p is a random variable and expectation of a delta p is equal to the expectation of PL minus PL minus 1. Um, for example, you can define delta p as PL minus PL1 using this. But beta is in the parameter of MLMC, which is the convergence rate of the variance of delta p, is not high enough. The definition of delta p used in our study is this formula. We estimate PL at the sample size 2 to L and estimate PL minus 1 A using the first half of the sample using PL and PL minus 1 B using the second half of the samples. Using the definition of PL in the previous slide, our study shows the expectation of and variance of delta p uh, converges as the rates shown here. This means that delta PL achieves high convergence rate of variance beta than gamma. And using the basic theorem of MLMC as shown before, we can show that the total computational cost of MLMC estimator is the order epsilon to minus two. And this is better than the previous method, nested Monte Carlo, because the computational cost of an NMC is order epsilon to minus three. And next, we explain about the result of numerical experiment. We use the, the pharmacokinetic model shown in this slide. Uh, there are three unknown parameters, Ka, Ke, V, and the experimental parameter, T1, da, 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 Tj, and it means the blood sampling times. Uh, Yj is the result of the measurement at the time Tj, and uh, models uh, as this formula. Here, epsilon is a noise, and D is a constant. And J equal 15 is fixed. And we consider three schemes for the sampling time Xi. Uh, beta is the percentile of the beta scheme. Even spacing is that the spacing of adjacent point are equal. And geometric is that the ratio of adjacent points are equal. And these parameters are optimized parameters 
uh, in the previous research, Ryan et al. And this is the result of the estimation of EIG. In the above table, uh, we compare the three schemes. Uh, alpha and beta is the parameter of MLMC. Theoretical value is alpha equal one, beta equal two. So this result agrees well with the theory. MLMC cost and NMC cost are the total sample size used for each estimation. And saving is the ratio of these. Uh, this shows that all three schemes, the total cost of NMC estimator is about 30 times of the total cost of MLMC estimator. And U is the value of EIG. Our results show that the geometric scheme is the best experimental design of the three. And the two graphs shows the expectation and variance of P and delta P. Uh, horizontal axis uh, represents the level L. Left graph shows the expectation of delta P is decreased and the graph is straight, which agrees with the theory. The slope of the left, left graph is alpha and the slope of the right graph is beta. Next, I talk about the estimation of gradient of EIG. And our study shows that gradient of U, Nablac CU, can be transformed as this formula. Uh, we can see that the gradient of EIG is also given by nested expectation, same as EIG itself. And again, nested expectation can be estimated by nest, nested Monte Carlo. And this method requires a total computation cost of order epsilon two minus three. Here, our study shows that the gradient of EIG can also estimate it using MLMC. Here is EIG and the gradient of EIG. We can see that the difference is here nabla log p y given theta and the other part is the same so we can reuse the theoretical results of the eiz analysis with some modification uh, when estimating the gradient of eiz nabla uh, uh, pl and delta pl are defined as this formula. Here again, the difference from the case of EIG is only this part, Nablac C log P by given theta, and other part is completely the same. And this is the theoretical result of our study for gradient of EIG. Uh, again, using the definition of PL in the previous slide, uh, our study shows the expectation and variance of delta P converges as the rate shown here. And this means that delta P L achieves high convergence rate of variance beta than gamma. And using the basic theorem of MLMC as shown before, we can show that the total computational cost of MLMC estimator is the order epsilon two minus two. Uh, this is again better than the previous method nested Monte Carlo because the computational cost of NMC is order epsilon two minus three. Uh, the differences are first, uh, since the different definition of delta p has a factor uh, number x log p y x given theta and so we add the 
first assumption, the sphere of the square norm is finite. And since delta p is the vector, we show the convergence rate about the expectation of norms instead of the expectation and variance of the scalar. Next, we explain about the result of numerical experiments of the gradient of EIG. We use the pharmacokinetic model, but simplified model compared to the model already described. The model is shown in this slide. There are two unknown parameter, k and v, and the experimental parameter, t1, the, the tj, uh, same, as the, same as the previous model, it means the blood sampling times. And yj is the result of the measurement at the time tj and models, modeled as this formula. Uh, here, epsilon is a noise and D and T is the constant. Now, J equal 10 is fixed. And we consider one sampling time, C, as shown here. Uh, this graph shows the result of the estimation of gradient of VIG. The two graphs show the expectation and variance of p and delta p. p and delta p uh, horizontal axis represents the level L. The slope of the left graph is alpha and slope of the right graph is beta. We can see that alpha is near, nearly one and beta is nearly two that agree well with the theory. Next, we explain about the unbiased MLMS estimator. Stochastic gradient descent is the one of the method for optim optimization. And to apply this method for the estimation of EIG, the unbiased estimator for gradient of EIG is needed. We can use randomized MLMC. Uh, can, uh, can be applied when bit, uh, beta is, is larger than gamma. And already explained, this is proved in our study. So we can use stochastic gradient descent for the optimization of EIG. This is the unbiased estimator for the gradient of EIG. First, we choose L randomly with the probability W and estimate delta P L with a correction with W. And this is the unbiased estimator of the gradient of EIG. And this is the result of the optimization. This point set represents Xi, the 10 blood sampling times. Uh, initial point set at t equals zero is the random point set. And the point moves with the iteration of stochastic gradient descent. Uh, we can see three or four clusters of sampling times. Uh, finally, we repeat the same optimization com computation five times independently. Uh, and this is the behavior of the EIG with the horizontal axis represents the number of iterations. This graph shows that EIG is increasing with the iteration steps. And so the optimization, optimization works well. This is the conclusion of my talk. Both 
EIG and the gradient of EIG are given by nested expectations. And our study shows that the both can be estimated using MLMC. And EIG can be optimized by the stochastic gradient descent and randomized MLMC with both theoretically and numerically. And these are the references. Uh, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.